Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. It is June 6, 2022. It's Monday afternoon at... 5.21. 5.21. So it's the evening. Please excuse how I am. I'm not feeling the perkiest. I have a head cold. And I have kind of an abscess right here, which is... is it's not that painful right now. But I did... Lance it and drain it carefully. You know, sadly, all of us know that I think, I mean, I think general health care, your insurance should cover dental and eye. I think it should cover hearing too, but, you know, they don't. But I think they should cover dental and eye. That way, millions of us Americans wouldn't have to walk around in dire need of dental work and glasses. Now, the glasses have become obtainable for a lot less money, but still, your dental. But anyway, so there's that. Um, uh, I'm going to do some warm salt water rinses, keep an eye on it, all that fun stuff. Uh, the cold, I'm taking some cold medicine for. I'm sure I'll feel better in a, a few days. Um, I did have a mammogram scheduled for tomorrow, which I've been waiting on. And my doctor is going to want to kill me. But Brad will will attest for me, right? Yes. That I have a cold. I There's no way I could go in tomorrow and stand there for over an hour with a head cold. And I am doing some coughing and stuff. Just probably would not fly. So I, I went ahead and canceled that just in the nick of time too. I wasn't even thinking about it because we were talking about tomorrow, you know, there's some things that we need to go do and so Brad was going to go do those like mail off the package and pick up some prescription stuff while I was in getting the booby, booby squishy. But then I like, you know, he knows when I'm sick. I came out here. I migrated from the bedroom out here. And I promptly sat here and slept for the entire time. And it's normally not like me. But if I don't feel good, then, you know. Because it feels like somebody is just gripping my entire head. You know, facing, you know, the ears and the sinuses and everything. So, besides that, that's a little thing in life, right? Um... I think of what it was a nice weekend we got a lot done we went into the blue room Saturday and we went through a bunch of boxes we kind of sorted things out we have a definite plan Brad had done a lot of work in that blue room I was impressed I he didn't think he had done that much but there was a lot less stuff in there than before and he had organized it pretty well so it really wasn't that much organization as just kind of talking about he had set up a folding table against one wall and then a longer table but it's higher up but narrower along the other wall which will work out great for like a workstation for him you know or either one of us has something we want to set there to dry and he's got a work table he also has an, a, another portable workbench um, that'll work out nice. I'm going to be using primarily just that room for, um, my, uh, to store yarn and other craft supplies. We found a lot of my, I knew I was missing some more art supplies. I was missing more paint. I was missing more easels, um, palette knives. All that fun kind of stuff. Drawing. All my drawing stuff was in this wooden box. That was what was in that wooden box with all my drawing stuff. Oh, cool. Um, my really, really good uh, paint markers. My uh, ink markers. Um, all that kind of stuff. And so, whenever you're a crafter or anybody have a bunch of stuff that you really love and cherish, you get that. You find that. And you're just like, ha. So, yeah, um, I, in fact, I spent yesterday putting that stuff all away and reorganizing. Probably why I have a cold, all the dust. Mm-hmm. <coughs> all 
the dust in the, you know, it sat there for 18 months. And, um, then reorganizing it yesterday, taking it all out of everything and reorganizing it, you know. But, uh, it could be just allergies, too, from all that. Kind of sounds more like allergies, actually, when you think about it. Um, so, but, yeah, I got all my art stuff put away. I'm still missing just a few things, like my paint sprayer, um, you know, uh, a few other things. I can't remember off the bat. There was a couple other things I was still missing, um, but just a few things, and I know we'll come across those. So, that's very exciting. Um, very, very exciting. I'm getting my bedroom now, slash art studio, craft area, pretty, pretty nice. I had taken out, what did I take out? Oh, I finally was able to get rid of all this stuff that was right in front of the shelves, and then my TV sits up on the, on the shelves, because I had so much stuff in front of there. First off, it was hard to get my clothes. And it was hard to even really walk through there. So I was able to open all that up. I was able to, I redid the closet, I think, Friday. Friday, I redid the closet, redid all the, all the bedding. So I have where all, all my comforters and my, my lighter blankets, all the sheets, what size they are. I like to put all my pillowcases together. So I got all that done. Man, do we have a lot of pillowcases. Yeah. And so, that took a good part of a day. That's a lot of dust there, too. A lot of dust. You know, um, so, we did that. Was able to get a big box of yarn into that closet also. It's a big walk-in closet right off the bathroom there. Um, kind of a unique setup. So, um, I had one set of shelving that I was able to put in there. And that opened that. Uh, all up so now my front room my kitchen doesn't or my kitchen my bedroom doesn't look near as cluttered and cramped um you know uh very very good that makes me a lot happier uh because you know we watch tv in there most nights most nights come after six o'clock seven o'clock i want to be in the bedroom I want to get comfortable. Usually I have to take some water pills. And, um, you know, I want to watch some TV with with Brad. And we usually finish up about 10 unless it's a Friday, Saturday night. Yes, we're getting to be those typical people that, you know, <laughs> we, you know we are creatures of, of uh, comfort. You know, we like to, you know, have all our... our stuff around and be comfortable and relaxed and all that good kind of stuff and uh, I was looking for my my vape I know I took it out but we're still not eating dinner at no three o'clock still not eating dinner at three o'clock yeah, yeah um but so you know but you want to be comfortable that's when I want to do my loom knitting and then after a certain point point in time I want to do my my uh diamond painting I'm gearing up to, I want to finish these three paintings I have going, and then I'm going to clear off that table I have in my room. I want to do some sewing. I have a lot of, of alterations on some of my clothes I want to get done. I have a little bit of mending to do for, for Brad. Um, I want to make some curtains for his window. I want to make some curtains for the blue room. You know, because I took all the top sheets. We never use top sheets. We hate top sheets, so I always just use them for backing. Or you can make regular clothes out of them, you know. So I keep all of those, you know. <clears throat> and um, so that's what I'm going to use to make him some curtains. I'm going to double layer them because he likes his room to be really dark. And so I'm going to double layer them, make him a set of nice sheets, or nice curtains that will actually will match your sheets, so... You know, um, that's it. We care about that. You'll never know what kind of sheets or, or bedding we have because we mix and match, and that's just the way we are. You know, if it's clean and, and it's bright colored, we like it. You know, you, I don't. we don't own a white sheet. Probably never will own a white sheet. I don't want to have white sheets. 
I like colorful things. Brad likes colorful things. So, um, you know, it's, it's just like, we don't really own any white towels. I want colored towels. I want some bright colored towels that make me happy. Just like, yes, towel, you make me happy now. <laughs> but think about it. Either you're kind of a, and there's nothing wrong with liking white. There's nothing wrong with liking just plain stuff. A lot of people are that way these days. That's great. I am not. I am an artist. I like bright colored stuff. I like bold. I like, look at the hair. I like the bold. <laughs> you know, yes, you'll see I did color my hair with Brad's help the other night. I just need to have him. I can't see back here, so. Um, uh, but yes, I like the bold. Think about like your shower curtains normally you know, are, well, ours are bold. Ours are big sunset and beach themed, and they're very brightly colored. You know, so, but we've been getting a lot of stuff done, a lot of stuff cleaned up in this house. The whole thing is we're unpacking, sorting, and purging. We have a donation pile, like Brad found out big, I found the other day when I went to a closet, a big bag of his dress clothes from when he was working. He went through and kept just a couple things. The rest, he's like, I can donate these. We're going to be cleaning out shoes, everything. We have got some stuff we're going to set aside to sell. Stuff like, I have a great, one of those great big mirrors that you turn the other side and it's jewelry, it's a jewelry box. It's a great big stand-up. Beautiful piece. I don't have any room for it in my room. I've never even taken it out of the box. I'm going to sell that on Marketplace. We've got some extra chairs. We've got some extra things. It's like, you know what, we could use the money. Because the prescription costs. Brad's doctor, he saw the doctor last Friday. Everything's fine. Except for he's anemic too. I guess it's happened with us older people, right? Now we're the older people. But, um, I'm going to take my hair down. It hurts. It hurts my head. But anyway, um, so he's anemic. And also, um, uh, need, his blood pressure is fine. She doesn't want to change that. The dizziness and stuff, she thinks is either kind of a complication of a diabetes or else it is, um, what else did she think it was? Was, was The what? dizziness. Um, she said it might have something to do with the surgery, too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Kathy had that trouble for a good, about a year. Yeah. After her. So, anyway, it doesn't seem to be a big, um, a big thing. Um, so, they're going to keep an eye on it. If blood pressure is still really good. Took him off a couple meds. Increased a couple meds. All good. Um, increases old Dempic. So that I asked my, we have the same doctor. I asked her to increase mine too. Um, it's for the diabetes. My numbers are a little bit higher with the diabetes number one because evidently because I have, I don't know if you can tell. You really can't tell. But this is all swollen right through here. Um, because of the infection will make your numbers go up and because of the uh uh, steroid shot. Arm is still good. It is very sore today, though. I have done way too much in the last three days, and so today, Mr. Heidi said, you're taking it easy. I didn't think he thought it was going to be comatose for most of it, but, right? Hey, whatever it takes. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So that's what's going on there, is, is, but prescriptions are yikes. You know, it's really something. I didn't think it was going to be like a, you know, a hundred dollars worth of prescriptions all of a sudden. It's like, so anyway, it is what it is. We're all facing the same thing. Um, Sorry. Still doing my loom knitting while Brad throws things in the kitchen. 
<laughs> this is a yarn cake I made myself. You're like, how do you do that? Well, it's easy, guys. Now, I knot my yarn, and I know some of you are like, mm -hmm. I do, okay? I'm a yarn knotter, and I know there's other of you out there, so don't feel bad. But I just tie together different colors of yarn that are similar, and I make a little pattern. It's fun to do. I sit here in the evening. My friend Kathy sent me some scrap yarn. Kathy, this is what I do with it. I get similar, like this yarn is, sep is separate from this or was, and then this one, and then the dark one, and I, you know, I tie them together, I sit there and I cut them in long strips while I'm watching TV, and then I tie them together, and I have my own new little yarn cake, and that's the pattern it cast, isn't that cool, so that's what I'm doing right now, so now I'm doing the stripes up, if you see, yeah, so. Um, the other contrasting color is this, is, is, is a soft Chanel, um, this is a toddler hat, so, uh, yeah, still doing my yarn, my loom knitting, of course, and like I said, I'm doing a diamond painting, and I'm doing some painting, I finished and have boxed up and got paid for all those, those earthworks I did, those will be shipped tomorrow, um, so that'll be good. And, you know, you get to the point when you're done with a, a project that you want to get it all buttoned up, boxed up so it won't get harmed and on its way back home. So, um, Jelly Bean, what's the girlfriend? What you doing? She's just been sillier than anything, haven't you? She's just silly, silly. She's just, Brian will be sitting on the bed. She just comes tromping in between both of us, big as can be. You're like, hi, guys. You know, or she decides that she really doesn't want Brad sitting that close to me. She'll get in between us and then just push with her feet on him as hard as she can, like she can push him away, right? <laughs> you know what, honey? Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> you know, like, I'm pushing you away, you know? <laughs> the other day, he was rubbing my back, and she decided she didn't like that. She kept nudging his hand away, like, no, nope, that's my mom. Don't touch her. <laughs> So, um, I haven't really been doing any yard work. It's just, it's warm out. Not super warm as it is other places, but you don't want so much time. And, you know, we've been working on the inside. We're going to get this all buttoned up and everything. Why do you have my big floppy hat hanging over with your coat? That's mine. Because. You cannot have that. Because you were asleep when I found it and I just No, uh, you were wearing it in the bedroom the other night. Uh-huh. Yeah, you came in there with it. I know, and I just set it up there. But no, you took it back out of my bedroom then. He did. wants it. He wants it. It's a big floppy straw hat, and he was wearing it. Because you did not now, say see, you wanted it. Well, it's not yours. I know. So why would you take it? Well, because you didn't act like you wanted it. I, I said, oh, there it is. Yeah. What am I supposed to do, rip it off your head? Yeah. I cut his hair the other night. Saturday, I think it was. Was it Saturday? I, yeah, I think so. I cut his hair. Just did the classic, you know, where, where it's, it's, you know, shaved here and then it fades up longer. And then I left it quite a bit longer on top because he wanted to just do kind of this quite messy look. Which, you know, works great for him. So that way he can just put a little bit of product in his hair and just do this and it just kind of goes everywhere. It, look, it looks cool on him. and But that way it's cooler off the ears and stuff. Uh, you know, because it is summertime. So that's an important thing. He got his hair cut and done very last. Okay, the animals got all their nails done. They got, they got whatever grooming they needed. Thanks to Jelly Bean, had to have that full groom. Then I got my hair colored, and then he got his hair cut. Yeah. And you notice he doesn't misbehave until after the hair is cut. You never want to have whoever's doing your hair be upset at you. No. You know, or even have them upset, period. You know, you, you ladies have gone into your beautician. 
and she's upset about something, she's telling you this story, maybe she's cutting your hair, and the next thing you realize, she has cut off so much more than you ever wanted, and so much more than she ever does, because she's upset, and she's busy recanting the story to you, or she's really upset and angry about something, and she may be doing a perm, and she'd perm, she's rolling in perm rods in so tight that you swear, not going to have to worry about because I'm not sure I got a hair left now. You think you ripped it out. You know. <laughs> or have an upset hairstylist be doing a frost on you where she's pulling those through the cap. All you ladies know this. The cap that goes on top and then you pull. <sighs> not a good thing. Well, sweetie, remember that one time you were cutting my hair a long time ago? Before I went to school? Yeah. For it? And you were talking and you kept cutting it shorter and shorter and yeah yeah and then i just started laughing because i knew i had messed up i had not gone gone to cosmetology school yet in, or anything and the more i cut the worse it got the more i laughed and brad we were newlyweds and brad is like what what i ain't even been married maybe three months and i'm like nothing nothing and i'm laughing my butt off After that, he said, don't cut my hair anymore. I'm going to go back to who I, I've been going to. And I decided that then, if I liked messing with hair that much, that I just need to go to school for it. So, you know. But I really love grooming dogs the best. I don't know why. I just love messing with animals anyway. But I really love, right, Jelly Bean? I love grooming the puppies. I love grooming the dogs. I mean, you know, usually if you talk to them, and they're usually just scared if they're growling and stuff at you. If you console them, make them feel at ease and stuff, usually that's all it takes. Right, Jelly Bean? Jelly Curse. What are you doing, Jelly? Are you being so weird today, huh? You're just all happy. You gonna come see me? You wanna come see everybody? Huh? Come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Oh, okay. Come here. <laughs> All right. Come here. Hey, sweetie, could I just do a quick disturbance? Yes. Uh, yes. Too uh, late. Did you want uh, green olives, sweet relish, or dill pickles? Sweet relish. Okay. We're making tuna salad for dinner. I'm going to have chicken soup and tuna salad. He makes the best tuna salad ever. You gonna say hi to everybody, Jelly Bean? You gonna say hi? Hey, hello, everybody. My name's Jelly Bean. And I love my mommy. Don't you? Do you love your mama? A little bit? Mm hmm. I know you do. I know you do. You're a good girl, huh? I know you're a good girl, aren't you? Oh, what? Where you going, huh? Do you guys remember? I don't know if you guys remember she had. Three fangs there in front, and she lost one of them. We think it was a baby tooth that never came out. But it left, oh, what, a couple of weeks ago. We kind of miss it. What do you do? You don't watch how, now that you, now that we're talking about your missing fang? What? Oh, you, you know dad's out there. See, no dad's out there in the kitchen. See, it's getting to be about that time for the food. To go down. But he, you just started the rice, right? I did. It'll be about 20 minutes. Dad had to make you more rice. So, um, that's what all we've been doing, really. Just cleaning, sorting, purging, unpacking. Nice to find your stuff. I, I don't know what the big difference is, guys. I guess we both had to get into a better headspace. And we did. And we have. And... Now things are just clicking into place. You know, every day we sort through something. We go through something. Even if it's to peek into a, 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 a tote and say, oh, that's all Christmas stuff. That's what we did today. Brad went through some of the stuff. We actually got out most of the Christmas decorations out of the front room now. Hey. It's getting to be like a front room now, which is nice. It is nice. 
you know. Um, we might try and move that table down a little bit to have that TV a little further in the wall. Yeah, whatever you want, sweetie. You know, it would take both of us. Yeah. Um, uh, I'd like to have you connect that TV some way to that table. Remember, it's just kind of parallel well, there. I'll probably have to get a couple of one by fours and cut them, and then. Well, not if you're going to make them hideous. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, if you got to paint them or something, then do they match the black table? You can't have a stinking old plain pine two by four just blaringly out there, not matching the motif of the black table. They're not going to be two by fours, they're going to be one by fours. Okay, one by fours. Yes. But you have to paint them first. Paint wood? Well, yeah, for that. No, that's so wrong. Oh, well, you're going to stain it then? I'd do that before You're going to stain it. it because it's just a brace for the I table? Would, I would do that before I, uh, before I... Did I offend you now? You did. I offended him. It took long enough today. <laughs> I try to every day. Look, it's not going to match the black in the room. Bradford. Uh, I can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me now. Nope, my head's stuck in the fridge. My, I have to show you in a minute as soon as I put jelly bean down. Jelly bean. Jelly bean. Hey, jelly. Are you just going to stare at dad the entire time you're on my lap? Hey, no, she's jelly. Like, she's expecting me to Jelly. Here, yeah, hi. Mm -hmm. Thank you for looking at me for a minute. I love you. What? What? Okay, I'm going to put her down now. So I can show you guys. My friend Leanne sent the sweetest thing. And yes, we both teared up. This is an angel to remember angel by. Isn't that the sweetest thing? I'm going to put this right in front of my TV in the bedroom, Leanne, because that's where we watch TV the most. That's so sweet. Yeah. Well, she was gray and kind of orange, a little bit of white. So, yeah. I didn't even just like her. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. And it came with a little bracelet, too. This, this bracelet. It's got, oh, I didn't see it had a paw print on it. Oh, that's sweet. I didn't even take it out. I'm going to take it out now. Oh, it's got this heart on it. And then this one, look. This one's got the paw print. Oh, now I have to wear it. Oh, it even fits nice. I didn't think it would fit. Look. Look, Leanne. Guys, say prayers for Leanne. I'm not going to go into it because it's not my business to spread. But let's just say, let's just say some some good vibing prayers for Leanne all the way around. Okay? Um, you know, she'll know what that means. So, I didn't realize my hair was darker up here. It'll fade. And it is down here. <laughs> I think next time I color my hair, I'm going to have to do a whole general overall color. Because your hair does start to fade on the bottom some after a bit, you know. So, this will this will fade and match in pretty soon. Anyway, that's all we got going on. We don't really have anything planned for the rest of the week. We we'll just keep sorting like we are. Sorting, unpacking, sorting, purging. Repeat after me. You know, if it if it cannot be donated, then it goes in the garbage. If it can be donated, donate it. Especially if clothing. Especially if you're a bigger size. There's some clothing you don't want. Because they don't get a lot of the bigger size clothing in, in the donate in the thrift stores. And when they do, they go super fast. So, yeah. Do that. Because that will really help somebody else down the road. You have anything to say? No, you've been doing good. Okay. Okay. Where's my yogurt? It's there on the counter. Did you put anything in it? What? Did you put anything in it? Bananas. 
Thank you. And granola. Thank you. Well, I'm going to have to go eat my... Make sure you eat your yogurt every day if you're fighting any kind of infection because it really does help protect the healthy bacteria in your stomach. Otherwise, if you're on an antibiotic, like I usually am all the time, it's going to destroy your, your good gut health. You want to have good gut health. So, just saying. It doesn't have to be a, any kind of specific yogurt. It all has the same in it. So... There's that. So, anyway, I love you guys. And I do cherish your friendship so very much. Thank you for spending this time with me. I did not feel like making a, a video today. Because I don't feel that hot. But I always love being with you guys. So, everybody say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.